Hi, I'm Mike, founder of GoodBed.com. Today we're going to take you through the entire Beautyrest Harmony and Harmony Lux collection of quilted mattresses, which has just been completely redesigned in order to expand upon many of the features that we showed you in the previous generation of these products and bring them to you at more appealing price points. We're excited to show it to you. Stick around. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is just give you a quick lay of the land as to how the products that we're going to be talking about in this video fit into the broader Beautyrest product portfolio. Beautyrest has Harmony and then Harmony Lux and then Beautyrest Black. Beautyrest Black products, we've covered those in separate videos. We're not going to be talking about those at all today. Within Harmony and Harmony Lux, though, they also have a quilted collection as well as a hybrid collection. The Beautyrest Harmony hybrids and the Harmony Lux hybrids, uh, we're not going to be talking about those in this video. We're going to cover those in a separate video. So what we're talking about here is you have the Harmony quilted models, uh, which have actually sort of two levels. We're gonna talk about both of those levels. And then also the Harmony Lux models, the quilted side, also has a couple different levels that we're gonna talk about. So in total, we're gonna be talking about 15 different models or so that are all on the quilted side of Harmony and Harmony Lux. All right, so let's start out by talking a little bit about what all of these Harmony and Harmony Lux mattresses have in common. And if you walk into a store and see these products, probably the first thing you're gonna see is a lot of talk about sustainability and specifically pulling plastic from the ocean and how these products are supporting those efforts. So essentially, a lot of mattress covers are made with fibers like polyester and spandex. And polyester can be made from depletable resources like petroleum. That would be what's called virgin polyester. Uh, but it can also be made with a little bit more expensive process with recycled materials like plastic. What Beautyrest has done is taken that to the next level by not only using plastic that comes from landfills or recycling centers, but rather using plastic that has been retrieved from places like the ocean or beaches or rivers. They, I told this story in a lot more detail in the video we did of the original Harmony Lux collection, which is when they first introduced this concept. Uh, but it is a great story. It involves actually having to incentivize, create uh, economies essentially that incentivize people like fishermen to be retrieving plastic from the ocean to, so that we're actually pulling plastic out where, of places where it really shouldn't be and where it's harming wildlife. And then essentially Beautyrest is using that more expensive plastic uh, in their covers in order to contribute and do their part in terms of uh, helping support that economy. So there's a lot more information about this process that you can find not only in that video that we did that I already mentioned, but also on their website. So I'd highly recommend checking those out. But for now, what I wanna share with you is certainly the most important and compelling statistic in my mind, which is that the number of water bottles that are pulled out of the ocean with the making of each one of these mattresses, which is essentially 50 water bottles in a queen size across all of the Harmony collection. And then at the Harmony Lux level, they've actually figured out how to use an even thicker yarn of this recycled kind of ocean fiber. And those ones can take out up to 100 water bottles for a queen size mattress. So it's really a significant impact that they're making and that you're making when you're purchasing one of these products. Now, the other thing that you ought to know about these covers, in addition to the recycled plastic uh, and ocean fiber that's used in making them, is that they're specifically designed to be uh, especially breathable, as well as uh, moisture wicking. So this polyester that they're using uh, just is naturally moisture wicking. So that is going to be a benefit that you're going to find across all of the Harmony and Harmony Lux models that we're going to show you in this video. The next thing that all the models that we're going to show you today have in common is that they're all going to use at least a half inch of what they call Beautyrest Active Response Memory. Foam. This is a rather quick responding memory foam. Um, I can show you right here. You can see it's, it's not like some of the five to 10 second memory foams that we may show you in other products. Um, you do see sometimes in some of these models a little bit slower responsiveness than this in this particular demo piece that I'm showing you. Nonetheless, it is a quicker responding, quicker recovering memory foam, but nonetheless still offering many of the contouring and pressure relieving benefits that you're looking to get generally from memory foam. They're all, they're, all the mattresses are gonna have at least a half inch of that. Generally speaking, it's gonna be the top layer right below the quilt, although in some of the pillow top models, it, it can be sometimes a little bit like one layer below that. Uh, but obviously having the memory foam higher up in the mattress allows you to take more advantage of those pressure relieving benefits that it can offer. And while I'm talking about comfort foams, another thing that uh, is gonna be common across all of these Beautyrest Harmony and Harmony Lux models is they're going to use a very breathable open cell foam in that quilt layer. You're gonna see 
names of foams like Air Feel and Air Cool. Essentially what those mean is these are designed to be open cell, kind of lower density, much more breathable foams, and that's all designed to help uh, enhance the cooling capabilities of these mattresses. And the last thing that's gonna be the same across all the models we're gonna show you today is that they're all gonna use a similar support uh, system, which is a, a pocketed coil support layer. Uh, it's not gonna be the same pocketed coil support layer. However, it's all going to be pocketed coils, eight inches tall. Uh, they're all going to have a four inch perimeter of firmer foam going around the entire mattress to give the mattress a nice strong edge on both the sides and the head and the foot. Um, and they're all gonna be resting on a one inch pad just to give those coils something firm and solid to rest on. So the bottom nine inches essentially is going to be your support system in all of these mattresses. And of course, when you're talking about pocketed coils, you're inherently going to be getting the benefits that come with that type of a support system, such as the conformance, the motion isolation, and the support benefits that pocketed coils can offer. And another benefit of pocketed coils is that they are very adjustable base compatible. So as we go through this video, we'll talk about how the pocketed coils change as you move up through this line. But the other thing that you ought to know about the way Beautyrest uses pocketed coils in this line is that they do vary up the pocketed coils between firm and plush models a little bit. So in many cases, when you look at mattress lines from other manufacturers, for example, uh, the difference between a firm model and a soft model is gonna be entirely related to the comfort layers on the top of the mattress, those top sort of three to five inches of the mattress. Whereas in this particular lineup, what uh, you're feeling and experiencing in terms of the conformance and the support levels, as well as just the comfort softness type of things that are more preference related, those are going to be affected by not only those comfort layers on the top of the mattress, but also using firmer or plusher coils in the support core, depending on what feel they're trying to create and what support profile they're trying to offer. So now let's get into the specific models that we're gonna show you today and, and talk about their features as well as our, our feel assessments of these models. But uh, before I do that, one more quick lay of the land, which is that I think from a standpoint of model names, it might be helpful to know that a lot of the Harmony models that you see out there are likely to use the word Bay in their name. And the Harmony Lux models are likely to use the word Island in their name. Some retailers may vary this up, but uh, in general, where the Harmony line starts is a family of four models that is what I called level one earlier on in the video, uh, that are likely to be found under the name Beachfront Bay. Um, and those models in general are going to use an 875 coil density unit of those eight inch tall pocketed coils that I referred to earlier. And in this case, each uh, coil is gonna be made from a single strand of wire. So just kind of a conventional coil. It's what Beautyrest calls their original pocketed coil. Uh, the one exception to that is the base model, the very, very uh, entry level model in this Beachfront Bay collection, which is the Beachfront Bay Medium. That one's actually gonna use a slightly lower coil density, 825 coils. It's also gonna be the one exception to the rule that I noted earlier about all of these mattresses having at least a half an inch of that active response memory foam. That one does not have that. But uh, otherwise, that's going to be a consistency across all these Beachfront Bay models. In terms of their other characteristics, of course, they're gonna have all of the features that I just went through that are common to everything in the Harmony and Harmony Lux lineup. Uh, in terms of the RS feel assessments, let's start with the medium. We classify that one as a medium firm on our softness spectrum. The, the firm here, we would classify that as a very firm. The plush, we would classify as a soft. And the medium pillow top, we actually would classify that as a firm on our softness spectrum. And as I mentioned, of course, the coil units are going to vary. There's a subtle difference in terms of the gauge of wire, the thickness of wire that they use in models that are on the firmer side versus ones that are called plush or plush pillow top or things like that. So that in some cases can really create a wider range of feels. And I think you're gonna find as we go through this video that this lineup encompasses a much wider range of feels than most product lines that we cover. So uh, that's part of the reason for that is the fact that they're varying up those feels with not only those comfort layers, but also the support layers. In terms of other characteristics that we assess, uh, I'm not gonna go through them for each model, but I can tell you in general, the cushioning depth at this part of the line tends to map pretty closely to the softness. That's not always the case. If you've watched other videos that we do, sometimes models can be very firm, but also have very deep cushioning and vice versa. In this case, the firmer models tend to have shallower cushioning, more of a sleeping on your mattress type of vibe, and the uh, softer models tend to have uh, 
sort of deeper cushioning, more of a sleeping in, hugged or cradled type of sensation. Uh, in terms of memory feel, these are all, I would say, below average in terms of the amount of memory feel recognizing that memory, memory foam is so pervasive in mattresses today that the average mattress today has you know, a, reasonably, uh, a reasonable amount of memory feel. So these have some memory feel, but a little bit below the average mattress made today. Uh, as it relates to bounce, they are gonna be in general above average in terms of the amount of bounce on account of the uh, responsive coil units forming the support core of all these mattresses. And in terms of edge support, we found these beachfront bay mattresses to be excellent. All right, so now we've moved up to the second level of the Beautyrest Harmony quilted collection. These are models that you may see under the name Cypress Bay. And there's gonna be a choice of three different feels at this level of the Harmony collection. You're gonna have an extra firm, a medium, and then a plush pillow top. And this is a good example of the wide array of feels that are available in this collection, even just within these three. But we'll get back to that in one second because I just want to explain to you what changes as you move up to this level. Specifically, you're going to see higher profiles, generally speaking here, or if not higher profiles, then higher density foams, higher quality. There's going to be either more pressure relieving materials or sort of more density of pressure relieving materials, if I had to sort of summarize it, that you're gonna be getting at this second level. And then in addition, there's, a, there's another benefit that you're gonna see advertised at this level of the collection, which is something that Beautyrest calls InfiniCool. Now, you should understand that the term InfiniCool doesn't always mean the same thing in different models that maybe Beautyrest applies it to. In the case of these models, the Cypress Bay models at the second level of the Harmony Quilted Collection, what it means is that there is a layer of silver infused fibers below the cover. Essentially, think of it like a layer of kind of loosely woven uh, fabric, kind of like a gauze that has silver fibers running through it. Uh, that layer is right between this cover fabric that you can see and the quilt foam that you can feel right underneath the cover. And of course, silver being a metal, being a conductor, is designed to help heat flow more effectively away from your body. So this is a cooling feature. That's why they call it InfiniCool. That's gonna be present on all of these Cypress Bay models. Now getting back to the feels of these models, we would classify the extra firm as a ultra firm on our soft spectrum. So just to uh, kind of spell that out, we've got medium, then we've got medium firm, then we've got firm, then we've got very firm, and then we've got ultra firm. <laughs> That's where this one fits in. So if you're looking for an ultra firm mattress, this is going to be one that you should definitely check out. The medium, which is the one I'm on right now, is one that we would actually classify as a medium soft on our softness spectrum, meaning that the category just to the softer side of our medium. And then the plush pillow top, we would classify as a very soft. The other side of our spectrum works the same way. So medium, medium soft, then soft, then very soft, which is where we would put that Cypress Bay plush pillow top. Now, in terms of the other characteristics, once again, I would say that cushioning depth tends to go pretty hand in hand with the softness. If anything, there's maybe just a little bit less uh, cushioning depth than there is softness, for example, or uh, maybe the cushioning depth maybe goes a little bit more towards the middle than towards the extremes uh, relative to the softness ratings that we provided. So maybe there's a little more cushioning depth on this extra firm than there is softness and a little bit less than there is softness on the plush pillow top. But otherwise, they're, they're pretty correlated. Then you have memory feel, which again, on account of that quick responding active response memory foam, as well as the overall amount of memory foam, uh, there's just generally less than average amount of memory feel uh, on these mattresses, but there is a little bit. Then you have uh, bounce, of course, again, is driven by the coil unit, which is the same as the models we just showed you. So that's gonna be similar, uh, sort of above average amount of bounce. Edge support is also gonna be strong like what we just talked about. However, it's gonna depend a lot on the softness level of the mattress because if you have a mattress with a really soft cushioning layers on the top, like you have particularly with that plush pillow top, that is going to affect the rigidity of the edge as well. So uh, there's gonna be a pretty big difference in the edge support between that mattress, for example, and the extra firm, uh, which for sure is excellent. Okay, so now we've moved up from the Harmony part of the Quilted Collection to the Harmony Lux. And we are actually sitting, as I mentioned, there are two levels of Harmony Lux. Uh, we are in the first level here on the Anchor Island 
firm model. But before I get into the specifics of, of this model or the others in the first level of Harmony Lux, I want to talk about what are the features that you get as you move up from Harmony to Harmony Lux that all of these Harmony Lux models have in common. And the number one is that you're going to switch uh, the coils. Well, not all of the coils. I'll, I'll explain that in a second. But you're going to introduce the use of what they call their T2 coil. Now, if you've seen any of our coverage of the Beautyrest Black collection, you may have heard of the T3 coil. This is the name of a coil that they've used for many, many years at Beautyrest Black that is really kind of the whole reputation of Beautyrest Black has, in a sense, been built on the uh, just the quality and support supportiveness of that T3 coil. What that T3 coil is, is essentially uh, twisted wires, a twisted cable of three, str uh, three strands of wire that are woven together, much the way you would see cables woven together in a suspension bridge, for example. Uh, and that gives the coil a lot more supportiveness, a lot more uh, rigidity, durability, um, and so they've, they've really uh, used that for years to great success. And what they did here actually in the previous generation of Harmony Lux is they introduced what they call the T2 coil. And as you might guess, the T2 coil essentially uses two strands of wire woven together or twisted together uh, in order to create this coil, which again is twice as much steel essentially as a traditional pocketed coil. So it does offer, again, significantly more support, uh, durability, and so forth relative to a traditional coil. So th this is the T2 coil, and what they've done here in all of the Harmony Lux mattresses, and this is also analogous to what they do in Beautyrest Black, is the uh, because this is a more rigid, supportive coil, there's a point to which you can't, you can't have a full sheet of it. You can't, if you do, then the mattresses will just feel too firm. So what they do is they use this in every other row. Okay, they have, so in the case of the Harmony models, it's columns going up the mattress. So every other column is all of T2 coils. In between those, you have single strand, coil, single wire coils. And those wires, those single wire coils, are still varied up between plush and firm so that the uh, mattresses that are firmer are using a slightly firmer wire in those every other row or every other column. And the ones that are plusher are using a slightly plusher wire in those every other column. And by using these T2 coils, each of which is essentially two coils in one, in every other row of the mattress, the total coil count at the Harmony Lux level of the mattress goes up to 1255 in a queen size from 875 at the Harmony level. And the second thing that they introduce at this Harmony Lux level is a second form of cooling. Uh, so you might see advertised the, they say, Infinicool Lux. What that basically means is that you're still going to get that same uh, silver fiber layer of kind of uh, woven material right below the cover that I mentioned just a moment ago, but you're also going to get a second cooling element, which is phase change material applied directly to the top panel here, to the cover that you can actually touch. Phase change material, if you don't already know, uh, we explain this in many of our videos, but it's essentially it is a, a tiny beads of plastic that essentially contain a wax that can change phases from a solid to a liquid, like wax does uh, when it is heated. So what's happening at essentially a microscopic level is that as the heat from your body reaches these tiny beads, the wax inside them is melting, changing phases. And as it does that, that heat is being drawn away from your body, which creates a cooling sensation. So that is what creates kind of a coolness to the touch that you can feel when you touch a cover that has this material applied to it. And it's also worth noting that in the case of this particular phase change material, you may see them advertise it as plant-based phase change material. What that means essentially is that normally that wax inside those beads is petroleum-based. In this case, rather than using a petroleum oil, they're using a seed oil, so it is plant-based. And that's just another example of the sustainability that they had in mind when they designed this product line. Now, at this first level of the Harmony Lux collection, as I mentioned, the model names, you may see them under the name Anchor Island. And I probably should mention at some point during this video that there is almost certainly going to be no retailers that offer all 15 of the models that we show you in this video, other than perhaps Beautyrest themselves on their own website. Uh, but we did want to make sure that we at least give you 
uh, the full scope of the products that are available across the market here. So that's why we're covering all 15 of them. Now at this first level, this Anchor Island level of the Harmony Lux collection, you're gonna have your choice of four feels. There's the firm model, the plush model, the medium pillow top, and the plush pillow top. In terms of how we would classify the softnesses of those particular models, the firm model, which is the one I'm on right now, we would classify this as a very firm on our softness spectrum. The plush would be a soft, the medium pillow top would in fact be a medium, and the plush pillow top would be a soft as well. In terms of the cushioning depth, that degree of sleeping in your mattress versus on your mattress, I would say that, again, sort of reiterating what I said about the Cypress Bay models, uh, you're going to, it's going to be pretty correlated with softness, but if anything, maybe slightly less exaggerated. So, meaning that the plush models, the softer models are gonna have a little bit less cushioning depth than they do softness, but still certainly towards the deeper cushioning side of that spectrum. And the firmer models are gonna have a little bit more cushioning depth than they do softness, so, uh, but still towards the shallower cushioning side of the spectrum. Uh, as it relates to memory feel, again here, you're gonna have a little bit of memory feel on account of the amount of memory foam in them as well as the uh, relatively quicker responsiveness of that memory foam. But on balance, it's still going to be less than average amount of overall memory feel in these mattresses. And then in terms of bounce, again, it's gonna be an above average amount of bounce. And in terms of edge support, we found that the edge support is going to range from good to excellent. And again, it's going to depend a lot on the amount of softness in the mattress with the ones that have a little bit less cushioning layers and a little bit less softness, like the one I'm on here, this Anchor Island Firm, having the best edge support. Okay, so now we've moved up to level two of the Harmony Lux uh, quilted collection, which is the top of the line with all, within all of the Harmony and Harmony Lux quilted mattresses in this new Beauty Rest lineup. And these are the mattresses that you may see under the name Coral Island. And what you're gonna get here at, these, at this level is two new features being added. Number one is you're gonna get more of that active response memory foam that we showed you earlier, specifically twice as much of it, at least an inch in all four of the Coral Island level models. And then on top of that, you're also gonna get a new material, which is what they call Right Temp Wave Foam. Right Temp Wave Foam is a charcoal infused convoluted foam. I'll explain what both of those two things mean. Obviously, you know what charcoal is, but what you may not know is that it is a very effective conductor of heat. So when you infuse a foam with charcoal, it helps that whole piece of foam conduct heat more efficiently away from your body. On top of that, it is convoluted which you may know um, is a, a way of kind of cutting the foam to create patterns in the, the surface of the foam, the most common of which would be egg crate foam or what you might see on the wall of a sound studio. Uh, this is not done in that particular pattern. It's actually a wave pattern. They've carved kind of channels, wave-like channels into the foam. What that does is essentially not only adds some softness uh, because that particular right temp wave foam is found right up in the quilt layer of these mattresses, um, but also those channels are designed to be a way for air to flow more effectively through that layer of the mattress. So there's essentially two cooling benefits designed to be part of this right temp wave foam, both the airflow going through those channels as well as the heat being conducted through the charcoal. Now, that additional material together with the other two cooling features that I've already described, which of course are carried forward into these Coral Island models, comprises three cooling features, and the sum of those is what they call InfiniCool Max. So when you see the term InfiniCool Max, it basically refers to the collection of, of those three features, the right temp wave foam, the uh, plant-based PCM in the cover, as well as that layer of silver fiber that is right below the cover fabric. Now, in terms of the different models available at this level of Harmony Lux, there's going to be, your, again, your choice of four feels. You're gonna have this time an extra firm, a medium, a firm pillow top, and a plush pillow top, which is the one I'm on right here. Uh, the extra firm we would characterize as a very firm on our softness spectrum. The medium we would characterize as a medium soft. The firm pillow top we would characterize as a medium firm. And then the plush pillow top we would characterize as an ultra soft. So uh, again, I explained earlier how our sp uh, spectrum works, but it's medium, medium soft, soft, very soft, and then ultra soft, which would be where this one falls. In terms of cushioning depth, once again, I think it's the same guidance is going to apply here where you're going to have slightly less cushioning depth than you do softness, or it's gonna be sort of 
uh, less exaggerated than the softness level. So the soft, this model doesn't have quite as deep a cushioning as it does softness. And the extra firm has a little bit more cushioning depth than, it, than its overall lack of softness might suggest. In terms of memory feel, I did feel like the amount of memory feel on this level of the collection was demonstrably higher. Still basically just bringing it to average, an average amount of memory feel given the, again, the nature of this particular memory foam and the overall amount of it. But nonetheless, with an average amount of memory feel, you can start to actually feel the memory foam more easily just lying on your back. You're getting a little bit more of that slow melting sensation as you lie on these Coral Island mattresses. The bounce, conversely, is a little bit less, um, but overall still above average. And in terms of edge support, again, the guidance I provided earlier about how softness levels are going to affect edge support certainly applies here, particularly in light of the wide range of softness levels in these Coral Island models, going from very firm to ultra soft. The ultra soft model, the what they call the plush pillow top, the one I'm on right here, of course, has certainly uh, the least edge support of the four. We'd still classify it as okay. Whereas the extra firm model, which, which is certainly a very firm model on our softness spectrum, has excellent edge support. Okay, so there you have it. I hope you found it to be a helpful overview of this brand new Harmony and Harmony Luxe collection of quilted mattresses from Beautyrest. We covered a lot of ground in this video, but there was a lot that we couldn't get to, obviously, because there's just so much detail about these 15 models. So if you are serious about one of these mattresses, I'd highly recommend going to our website, goodbed.com, where you can find our full write-ups about each of these products, as well as taking advantage of our compare tool, because that's what will allow you to see our full ratings and assessments that we make for each mattress in terms of their spine alignment, pressure relief, the motion isolation, obviously the cushioning depth and the, and the amount of memory feel and the edge support and so forth, adjustable base compatibility and the like. You can see all that lined up side by side for any of the mattresses that you're interested in. So I'd highly recommend taking advantage of that tool. In the meantime, thanks for watching and we really hope you sleep well.